Torch 2017 was the trial event, working in the public realm, producing fire shows, artistic interventions, cultural activity and light exhibition. And it was basically a scratch trial that ended up becoming a well-attended event with over 7,000 people coming to see a week's worth of fire shows and LED performances. We chose two sites for this. One being at Queen's Court in Milton Keynes Shopping Centre and one being the Secret Garden in Wolverton. The shopping centre being quite harsh in architecture and the second being quite organic. We're dealing with two different spaces so we had to be very open minded when we went to each one. Um, at Queen's Court it was very much set in stone, this was the space that we had to use. Security um, had to check it and make sure that it was in the right place. In Wolverton we, were, we had more rain of the space which meant that we could adapt the shows to the environment. We were quite adamant that we wanted a natural barrier to suit the environment as well. So very different in their layouts, one really rural and one really urban and modern. But the beautiful thing is the fire and the, the lights can translate between the two. The main ethos of Torch is using spaces, however conventional or unconventional, in different ways and getting the audiences to explore those spaces in different ways. <laughs> it's always challenging because actually you can prepare and prepare and revise and rehearse as much as you want but until you actually go live, you, you're never too sure what's fully gonna happen. And I think that's one of the really interesting things about the way we use fire, because fire in itself is not controllable 100%. So our actual art form dictates how it's gonna end up. And the role of a fire artist at times stops being about a performer and starts being about a controller of this force. I think it was a great reaction. Social media went mental. It became a kind of competition of who could capture the best fire pictures. It was insane. The footfall was great and I think having those spectacles people could specifically come to the event for. The lovely LED um, projection work that was within the trees, we came, became the spectacle, we became the part of the show that people were drawn to the garden to see. The torch is a roaming event and we don't necessarily want it to stay restricted to those two sites that we have used. I think it's very important that it continues to explore new spaces, continues to get audiences into spaces that they may not be aware of or have vis visited or engaged with before. So where we go next is always up for discussion. It's quite exciting that as a roaming event it will have this gathering audience as it moves around Milton Keynes. Um, or beyond, it may go further.